All right, to this say, suggestion via Discord. The name of the video is uh, New York City Mayor uh, Eric Adams indicted on federal criminal charges. A mayor. A mayor. Guys. <laughs> I mean, I wish they would, uh, you know, kind of do that to uh, to the Dalton Township, right, out in Illinois. That's That'll be amazing. But listen, here's the thing. Um, if this guy is incredibly corrupt, then it's obviously time to go. But I do think that, uh, from what I have read, at least, about it, um, it's almost purely like campaign contributions um and that's one thing i never really uh you know fully grasped like example um anyone from anywhere can basically give you a donation right um and you really don't know the people that are donating to your campaign uh, you don't know so how exactly would you be responsible for who's sending you money through donations right i mean i guess if you were to um make an attempt to actually verify where the money is coming from that in fact would probably uh be like hey this country is sending me money maybe i shouldn't take it maybe if that was the case right um that would probably have saved him in this instance here at least guys but um yeah as, as of right now the indictment is still sealed uh and when they do unseal it um hopefully soon um we should get a lot of information bro. um but all right let's get this uh go ahead and check this out immediately all right. Breaking news right now. Sources telling the Associated Press that Mayor Eric Adams has been indicted by a federal grand jury, making him the first mayor in New York City history to face an indictment. Good evening. I'm Natasha Verma. And I'm Steve Lacey. Our rumors have been swirling that this was imminent following the federal raids on the homes of members of Mayor Adams' inner circle and the wave of high-level resignations from his administration. We have live Fox 5 coverage tonight. Let's start with Morgan Mackay, who joins us now on set with this stunning development. So right now we know the indictment's coming, but we don't know for what. Mm -hmm. That's what we find out tomorrow, I guess. Exactly. Now, we know there are at least four federal investigations surrounding Mayor Eric Adams right now. But from what I'm okay. hearing from sources is that this indictment could be tied to the federal investigation looking into whether Mayor Eric Adams accepted illegal campaign donations in part from the Turkish government. Now, we first Turkey. learned about this investigation on November 2nd of last year. You'll remember that the FBI raided the home of his top campaign fundraiser, Brianna mm -hmm. Suggs. And Adams at that time was flying to D.C. and he quickly just turned around and came back. Right. But it's still very unclear. We do not know what's inside this indictment. We do not know what charges or if there's multiple charges in this indictment. Uh, that un indictment will be unsealed, I'm hearing, tomorrow morning. So All right, that's great. That's great. There. But we just also recently found out uh, as of this week that the federal investigators have broadened their search and have included other countries such as Israel, South Korea, Uzbekistan, Qatar, and China. Now, Qatar. We know that Adams has traveled to China at least seven times. He's traveled to Qatar. Qatar. This is how you know sometimes that like these newscasters are just reading things. They really don't have an, an actual opinion at all. They're just playing a character uh, reading off of cue cards. Um, because for you to, to say Qatar is absolutely crazy to me. Now, we know that Adams has traveled to China at least seven times. He's traveled to Israel last year. Uh, he traveled to Qatar in uh, <laughs> 2022, I believe. And um, so he said he has also been to South Korea when he was a state senator. And as far as we know, he has not made a trip to Uzbekistan, but maybe there's something there. Maybe they just saw some sort of piece of information. Mm. It's also Could really be. unclear if this is tied to any of the other investigations, particularly mm. looking at the NYPD Commissioner Edward Caban. So we don't. All right, guys, look really quickly. Like uh, New York has been going through it recently, specifically with the um, uh, the Governor Hochul uh, finding out basically that she had a Chinese spy working for her for a while. Right, um, that's one thing. And then now this is happening. Think about what all of this could be about all right um you have called yourself a sanctuary city for a very very long time you then allowed all these individuals to come into your city and then fund their entire lifestyle while the people that are paying into your tax code uh, basically got nothing from the money that are, that they've been paying into your taxes 
right? Nothing. They get nothing for it, right? Not really, right? Um, so what do you, what did you think was going to happen? Do you think the people that you're that you're lording over were just going to sit here and lie down and continue taking that? No, they're going to fight back. And how are they fighting back? By probably reporting every single thing they can possibly find on you. That's what's happening here, right? Going forward, and this is why the. Whoever look, was looking into the governor was looking into the governor, right? Then finding a Chinese spy. Then this happens here. He also gave the key to Diddy, bro, right? So I'm sure he somehow that's going to correlate at some but some means, right? Um, hopefully, whenever that, whenever the indictment is actually unsealed, we'll get some information, um, much more information than we already have, because as of right now, everything is for the most part speculation. But if it is campaign financing, which people are already expecting, then. It can be troubling, specifically if he knew uh, he was willingly taking um, contributions from illegal countries, basically. We don't know the specifics, but at its face, I mean, this is a stunning development. I mean, it kicks off now in an indictment of a mayor for the first time in New York City. Uh, what happens next in the process with Mayor Adams? Like a proxy is going to have to not take his place and they're going to have like, what, 90 days or so, 60 to 90 days. Uh, or something like that, guys, to basically re-elect someone else. So this is huge. There's only two New York City mayors who have ever resigned in history. Uh, that was Jim Walker in 1932 and in the William 50s? O'Dyer in 1950. So right now, if Adams doesn't resign, the only person who can remove him from office is Governor Kathy Hochul. If he does decide to resign, then this kicks off um, a, a pretty a pretty quick process. So the public advocate, Jamani Williams, would mm -hmm. step in as acting mayor, and then they would have an election about within 80 days of when he steps in and um, after that all the candidates would come forward and be it would be a ranked choice voting and no one there would be no party affiliation so it'd be just an open uh, election without because there would be no primaries right and we have heard a little bit from the mayor tonight sort of previewing what we think is going to be his likely defense yeah. strategy right exactly we got a statement from the mayor and he said quote I always knew that if I stood my ground for New Yorkers that I would be a target and a target I became. If I am charged, I am innocent. And I will fight this with every ounce of my strength and spirit. Okay, guy, wait, wait, wait. You stood your ground. You didn't stand your ground for any New Yorkers. You didn't at all. Like, you tried party loyalty. That's what you did. When your city was being basically bombarded uh, with individuals not from the country, okay, uh, you decided to just, with open arms, take all of them in and then basically... Uh, disregard the actual people that have that live there and been paying into the tax codes guys right you, what you've decided to do was uh, convert parks neighborhood parks into uh, shelters you decided to um, close down schools or oh, for shelters purposes you decided to do so many things that really have no benefit to the average new yorker other than making uh your party completely happy right uh, a borderless society that's that's what you are you're happy with this is what you wanted um so if you're charged you're innocent you became a target bro what are you really offering to the city nothing Bye. Now, obviously, they're, you know, reading a little bit between the lines. Uh, mm -hmm. Something that he's kind of been hinting at and some people have said out loud is that um, he believes in part that he has been targeted uh, by the federal government because of his criticism of the Biden administration when it comes to the migrant crisis. He was one of the most open critics uh, of Biden when it comes to migrant crisis since New York City has seen. Listen, you, but his flip flop was a problem, bro. That's what it was. Right. Um, but would it surprise me that that also played a, 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 a minuscule factor in all of this? Eh, no, not really. Over 200,000 migrants come to the city in just the past two years. Um, obviously, you know, that's not exactly what he's saying, of course, uh, out loud. But hopefully we'll hear more from him tomorrow. Because another mm. question, too, is when will he surrender uh, to the feds? That's right. I mean, you're always at City Hall. And over the last few weeks, I mean, really since... September 4th, I mean, when the federal investigators seized electronic devices from city's police commissioner, school's chancellor, deputy mayor of public safety, first deputy mayor. I mean, since then, top aides have been investigated by feds. Uh, what has been the, the energy, the feelings at City Hall? 
Right now, people have becoming uh, growing increasingly frustrated with the distractions, mm -hmm. and they say it's hard to do their job. It's even hard to uh, communicate uh, with the press about something that they they want to talk about, some initiative that they want to do, because everyone is just talking about this right now. Now, since you know, in just the past hour, we have seen just an outpouring of people and lawmakers coming forward, calling on Adams to resign. I think at least five more lawmakers makers on top of the eight that have already called on him to resign. AOC being one of them too? Exactly. Yeah. And so I know from one of my sources they were saying that, you know, there was possibly some uh, indication maybe to her that this was coming down. Now the House Minority Leader, Hakeem Jeffries, he kind of was defending Adams a little bit earlier today when he was asked because he said, we need Eric Adams to be successful because he is a, the mayor of New York City. So I don't know if he'll have more comments after this yeah. indictment. Breaking news. No, no. Oh God, guys! Um, now, this is the the reality, at least my in my through my eyes, at least. Right? Um, you called yourself a sanctuary city until you got basically bombarded. Like the first time you had the ability to basically um, feel what you the the ignorance of your statements, right? You then flip flop, right, on your party. Okay, um, but that was not the initial response. Right? Your, your initial response was, "Well, we're a sanctuary city." Blah 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 blah. Until you started seeing the people of your your literal city um, saying, "This is crazy. I don't like this. We don't like this." Uh, you need to do something. Now, by now, it's way too late. Hotels are starting to get uh, basically bombarded with people. You're seeing migrants wasting food, saying that they don't like the food they're being given because it's not their cultural food. Well, you're, you're not in your culture's country. But either way, and but that's the thing, bro. Like, that's, that's what this all is, bro. It's all this. It's all the same. It's all this. Then, of course, as he then starts to realize the errors in his ways, he starts to uh, turn. Um, would the federal government be completely happy with him deciding that, that he wanted to, to kind of turn on them? New York, basically, a, a haven, a, a blue haven? No, they don't like that. You, they can't lose all the big cities. Well, you chose this, right? You wanted a borderless country, apparently. So what, what exactly were you, were you, like, what did you think was going to happen? this americans got fed up but either way guys let me know in the comments what you guys think right um i'll catch you guys later guys before we go are you guys subscribed to the other channels logical movie reviews with mr l boyd along with mr l boyd music both are found in the description check it out